Hi, this is Sandy Joe from RhinestoneTemplates.com and I am working with Sticky Flock today and I'm going to show you I've cut out a template on here but you can't see it's a bride and, and script and I'm going to show you the second part of how to work with the, with the template material of Sticky Flock and how to get it ready for putting your stones in. So when it comes to us, our sticky flock has a top carrier sheet that when we cut it on our cutter, we take the carrier sheet off and we set it aside because we will use it later. Well, this is where we're going to use it. So what we do is we take and peel the white backer piece off away from the sticky flock after we have cut and get, um, set that aside because we are going to use that later as well too. And some of my holes you can already see are coming off, but we're going to set that aside like I said, as we're going to use it later. I've got it upside down now, and um, you're going to take the sticky side, and you're going to attach that sticky side back onto the template that you just cut. So it's the sticky side to sticky side. And then you take a squeegee, and you work that squeegee down on that back side of where the... Um, the sticky flock is and when you're doing when you're doing that it's going to form a bond that when we want to peel it all it's going to come out really well and all the holes are are going to go ahead and, and come up, out with it so I think that's pretty good so let's go ahead and see how our holes peel out and I will go ahead and grab a corner and it makes a pretty good bond so just go nice and slow when you're peeling it and uh, just bring it back and just start working it and watch those holes just kind of, actually I like to go like this from the bottom and peel it off of the piece and then watch those holes. If a few of them stay in there it's not a big deal because we're going to be able to take those and uh, just grab them with our fingers and pull it out but you can see the majority of them are all just coming out instead of having to sit there and pick each one with some of the other materials that are a little um, different that we've worked with in the past so this just makes it so much easier for everyone involved. So at this point this clear sheet we can go ahead and get rid of. We're not going to use that again. But um, what has happened here is you can see on, on the template that most of them have come out. A few of them haven't. And this is where I would just come in and find out you know, where there's any remaining holes. Here's one right here. So I just grab and stick my finger through it and grab that hole and it comes out really easy. No weeding tool or anything. I've got a few up here on this side of the, the E. So I just go stick my finger underneath it and it just raises it up on our software for WinPC Sign software I do two rotations and that lets those holes come out really really well and there's no little um, tag or anything that hangs on there let's go ahead and get rid of that little one right there and so then um, I would take and put my backer piece back on it on the template and then that's how you would uh, store it. If you were going to take it at this point you could put it on your workstation and you could go ahead and and use it and you would be just fine. So that's how you prep your your template and I have this one in two millimeter and three millimeter rhinestones and so it gives it a little different fun elegant swirl um, to go with it and to work with this you just put your larger stones in first in the template material and then your smaller stones in second and it just goes in there really well. So I hope you enjoy this little video. Um, if you have any questions or need any help with Sticky Flock, just let us know at rhinestonetemplates.com and we'll be glad to uh, get you any information that we can.